Hey guys. So I got a package today. Sorry, I forgot to take my name badge off. <laughs> this is a lady that lives here in Canada, um, it, where I live. Um, she is in Montreal, Quebec. Um, she's a very beautiful young lady. She um, creates the most magical, gorgeous candles that are just full of intention. Um, everything is made by hand. Um, uh, they're just, I've been ordering candles from her now for almost a year. Um, I think last summer, coming into the fall might have been um, the first time that I had ordered candles from her. And I love it because she, you know, reuses everything. She puts these cute little stamps on the box. You know, makes them look all like witchy and earthy. Um, but she makes everything um, from scratch. And this is her business card. Uh, Wild Blackthorn. Always made with love and a little bit of magic. Um, Instagram, her Instagram is at Wild Blackthorn. Uh, web, her website is www.etsy.com slash shop slash wild blackthorn. So I will put all of her information down below uh, the video so you guys can order. And she always writes something personal. Thank you for your support, Tammy. Wishing you a magical spring season. Love, Melissa. Um, and she does that with all of her. Like she, there's always something personal there. Ah. Mm, and she does wax melts. She gave me a little wax melt heart. Thank you, Melissa. So I'm doing an unboxing to show my support for her. And I just love her candles. Um, I, like I said, I've been getting her candles for a while, but I, uh, I had my YouTube channel, but I wasn't really working on my YouTube channel. Now I am. And so I want to show my support for her. And she knows that I am doing an unboxing video for her beautiful, lovely candles. Um, she also likes to um, shop at the thrift shops and get like different um, antique kind of like cup holders and um, like candy dishes, you know, different things like that. And she makes candles um, in those. They're amazing. I got one at Christmas time. Um, this was the one that I got at Christmas time. It smells amazing. Um, I have a few, like I said, from her. Um, her other ones are in like a, well, they were an amber, amber kind of glass jar with the lid. Um, I think she has some in like a clear jar now, um, or she's doing both. Um, but because I'm now focused on working on my YouTube channel, um, since December and, there was a candle that she had during her Christmas ones it was the Baba Yaga candle and I missed it because uh, she only makes so many and she re-released some uh, new candles last week I believe it was and I ordered it and she had only made one so um, I have my Baba Yaga candle I'm so excited and I ordered another one as well that she had only made one of. So she wraps them with care so that way they don't, you know, get broken. Um, and I've never, ever, ever, ever had an issue 
with any of uh, my candles being broken or anything. Um, I order candles for my girls for like Christmas and stuff, um, you know, birthdays and stuff. So, um, and it comes to pretty quick. I think I had, I made the order Friday and we're now Wednesday. So, oh, this is the little teacup one. Things wrapped in twine, which I love. Oh, I love it. I saw this one and had to get it. And I loved it because my grandmother actually had a teacup very similar to this. And when I was little, it was my favorite teacup. So every time when we would have tea, I would always use this cup. Um, but yeah, it pretty much looks almost exactly the same. Mm. That smells amazing so these are her when I was saying how she re um, uses the teacups and makes the candles um, Lucius can you close my door Sydney please I'm recording so this is the candle and like just look at the inside of that all of her candles come with a crystal. This one looks like a clear quartz. I've got some dried orange here, some star anise, which is very good for um, protection. And then some little plant herbs here. And then it looks like we have some corn flowers and some other flowers around it. But um, this one, I believe it was like a coffee vanilla scent. I'm so excited to use these. So that's one. And then it's my big one here. This one is a little bigger, guys. A lot of bubble wrap so she's nicely and protected and safe so this is the Baba Yaga candle Smells like the forest. Mm. So we have a snowflake obsidian in here and it's a two wick candle. And then it looks like we have some other um, crystal chips in here. It looks like there's a tiger's eye in here. <coughs> Maybe like a red jasper. Look at this candle. Just gorgeous. Mm. Mm. And all her candles just smell lovely. Um, she doesn't just do candles. She, um, I'm just making sure. Okay. She also does, um, um, like sprays, um, room cleansing sprays or like, you know, sprays for yourself to kind of just cleanse your energy and your aura. Um, she does roll-ons. I've had all of her roll-ons. Her peppermint uh, roll-on for like headaches and things like that is really, really amazing. I've used it. Um, I've had a few of her like um, perfume kind of oils, but they're all like natural. Um, they're amazing. I, I love them. Um, I believe she does soaps 
and I think um, wax melts as well. Um, not 100% sure, so check her website. Um, but she always, you know, gives you like a little, you know, a little something, you know, of a appreciation for um, doing business with her, you know, and, and purchasing her products and stuff. And uh, she's a very, very bubbly personality. Um, we've kind of chit-chat a few times through Instagram, you know, when I was ordering my daughter's, um, both of their Christmas gifts um from her um i told her which ones were christmas gifts and she wrapped them really really pretty um i think one was in like a nice silver um tissue paper with a nice silver ribbon ribber, ribbon around it can you tell i just came home from work and um the other one i believe was like a it was either gold or like a uh, frosted kind of blue they were really really pretty and everything was wrapped really really beautifully like I didn't even need to wrap anything I I literally left it like that um, and um, you know if you have any questions um, like she responds right away to you um, you know with her answer and um, you know suggestions anything like that like she's always open for do you know what i mean like she's, she's a really really amazing young lady and very talented um i love her candles i don't have any complaints from any of her candles they're amazing they're beautiful and this is her business you know and if you've watched my any of my previous um videos i am very much um trying to support um my small businesses um you know and especially if it's like my small little witchy businesses in my community i'm gonna you know do what i can to try and show some support you know and when i get my product do like a little video of you know unboxing it or you know revealing it and leaving business information and you know things like that to try and keep their business going and you know more clientele coming through more business so their business can you know prosper and grow so yeah so check her out i will leave um the link um so the information down below for her website and her instagram information um her shop is on etsy um and every so often you know i think a few months or so she always puts new candles and scents and things like that on her um in her store in her shop and she'll tell you like she always gives you a heads up like hey you know releasing some new candles um this is the release date um i know with summer coming up she'll more than likely have some really pretty little summer candles going out so um she does uh beautiful um candles for uh Samhain, um like for the sabbats uh, and for yule i missed the yule one that she did and she's got one that's a block that's about this big beautifully decorated with like the mistletoe everything and then she does like the big kind of candle that's about that big it's a big block um she does one like that for Samhain she does one like that for Yule um usually the Sabbaths she does um beautiful like block candles um but yeah check her out um wild blackthorn and her name is Melissa beautiful beautiful young lady and beautiful beautiful magical candles that are made with so much intent in each of the candles they're amazing i have nothing but amazing um and love for um her candles and you know for her so yeah Hit, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Hit the bell in the corner for notifications. So every time I upload a video, um, you guys will be notified for it. 
Um, we are still waiting for one more um, witchy subscription box, which is Witch Casket. Um, hoping maybe it'll be in tomorrow. It would be nice if it was in tomorrow before the weekend, as I mean, everything's going to be closed Friday. So, <sighs> but um, yeah, so look out for that box when I, as soon as that box comes in, you guys know I'll be doing the video and um, unboxing with you guys. So that is the last box that we're waiting for for March is the witch's casket, but it's coming from the UK, right? So it's going to take some time. And with this COVID on top of it, you know, and then um, next month, April, we have four boxes that we'll be unboxing. Uh, one of the boxes, like I said before, will be the last subscription box for this particular company. Um, and then going forward, it'll be just the three uh, witchy uh, subscription boxes. Um, I will be doing another video at some point soon um, with some more crystals um, as I've added a few more to my collection. And I mean, I have a huge collection, so I have a bunch of crystals here that we haven't even, we haven't even done half of my collection of crystals. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be doing another, uh, series for, uh, crystal talk. Sorry guys, give me one sec. And, um, what else? Yeah, and who knows? I mean, maybe some uh, spell works in there. Like I said before, I want to do some uh, um, puppets, uh, some spell bags. Uh, we've already done some spell jars. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a recording on here for spell candles, but um, I will be doing some spell candles at some point my daughter had given me her lavender candle here because she wants me to do a psychic um candle for her um yeah yeah there's a lot i have planned sorry i'm still trying to whew, from coming home from work um And we have our other um, Sabbath that's going to be coming up, um, which is Beltane. Um, I want to try and start doing just a small kind of Beltane ritual um, with you guys. Or at least like um, do like a video of my altar for Beltane. And then with the Sabbaths going forward. Um, so I'm really trying to work on that. Um, like I said, it's just, it's hard. Just like I work 40 hours a week. I've, I mean, I have a home as well. You know, I've got kids. Um, but I'm also, um, part of a huge, um, like, uh, witchy goddess community, um, here in Ottawa. So, which we do, um, we celebrate all the Sabbaths um, in the community. So we plan all the rituals around it. Um, previously, they were all done um, in public and in person. Um, usually Beltane, we, we would do it outside, obviously, because we would have the maypole and, um, you know, everybody be picnicking because everybody brings something. Obviously, with COVID, we can't do that anymore right now. So everything is kind of done through Zoom. Um, but I am um, um, one of the members for um, Around the Goddess um, Circle Weavers. Um, so, you know, we do all the planning for, you know, we work together as a community and we do all the rituals and stuff um, for the Wheel of the Year to celebrate and bring in each season. So with Beltane coming up, um, 
you know, not that far away. We're kind of in the midst to be starting to kind of do all that. So, but I do want to do, um, you know, at, at least something small just to kind of show you guys, um, you know, like what your altar can look like, you know, to, to bring in, you know, that, um, that season, that Sabbath, um, you know, there's different foods and, you know, things like that. So I want to try and at least set up my altar so you guys can kind of see and, um, maybe do a spell for Beltane or, you know, something, you know, just to kind of show you guys, um, you know, what we do. So, or what you could do just to give you ideas, you know, and, and then just kind of talk about that holiday, you know, that season, like what is Beltane and, um, you know, what is it for and just like the history about it. Um, I want to try and start kind of going forward, including that in uh, my videos as well as, um, you know, different deities and, you know, things like that. Like I, I want this channel to be a learning channel for you guys. So, um, but yeah, sorry for the rant again. I will leave all her information down below um, for her beautiful candles. I believe this one was called Haven and this was the Baba Yaga candle. And thank you very much, Melissa. I love my candles and I appreciate them so much. You have no idea. And I love the little wax melt. I will be melting it today in my beautiful little cauldron wax melter. And yeah, thank you very much, guys. Love, light, and magic. Stay safe. Blessed be.